Hey guys, so I'm back with my October book haul. This is part two. So the rest of the books I'm going to show you are what I've got from Amazon with the exception of the first one that I'm going to show you. I forgot to include this one with the Barnes & Noble um, pile of books. So the first one I'm going to show you guys um, that I got from Barnes & Noble as well is They All Fall Down by Roxanne St. Clair. And this book, um, I think it was Missy from Binge Reader um, that talked about this book and that's how I heard about it and it sounded interesting. Um, so I had a 20% off coupon for Barnes & Noble so I went and picked it up. Um, well, I actually ordered it online because I, I didn't see it in the store. But anyway, this book um, is basically about this group of girls um, at, you know, high school. And it's like this group of really super popular girls. And everyone's dying to be in their group, um, literally, in this book. Um, every girl wants to be in... The group every girl um, wants to join but this year um, the girls who join the group or who are in the group start dying off one by one and so yeah this year it's dangerous to be in part of the group so anyway it sounded like an interesting premise so that's why I kind of decided I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. And then <clears throat> the next uh, set of books that I got are all from Amazon. And I got four of these books. Um, the first one here, if I can grab it. The first one is Trial by Fire by uh, Josephine Angelini. Um, this one I've seen on BookTube for a while as well. And it looked really interesting. It's fantasy and it's like, I don't remember too much about it. But it's like these um, sort of parallel worlds or parallel universe where the main character, um, like, she's sort of portrayed as like mm, ordinary, kind of weak in one world. But then she discovers this whole parallel world where she has... Like, she's completely different in this other world. Um, and in this other world, I think she's sort of like a villain. Um, but she's very strong and um, uh, I guess bad in this other world. I'm not entirely sure. But there's like, I guess there's like two of her, one in the normal world and then one in this parallel world. Um, I'm probably not explaining that very well, but it sounded really interesting. Um, I don't really know. I think, I think Cassidy had talked about this in one of her videos, and um, it sounded good, and I decided I wanted to give it a try. So, I got that one. And then, the next book that I got is A Dystopian. And this one, um, from what people have described about it, it kind of sounds like Hunger Games, in a sense. Um, not with the fighting so much, but the way 
the society is broken down into, um, like, there's the inner city and then outer cities. Um, so sort of like how they have the capital and then district 1 through 12 outside of that. Um, but anyway, this book is Jewel by Amy Ewing. And, yeah, and this cover is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is such a pretty cover. I wanted this book just for the cover alone, because it's so pretty. That dress is so pretty. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's a dystopian. I don't remember too much of what it's about other than um, that whole aspect of it, like, there the inner city so like the jewel is um is the city in the middle and there's a whole bunch of other cities um surrounding it that are like poor and poorer as you get further um as you get further to the edge of the city um they get poor and poorer and like the one on the furthest um is where the main character is from which that one is like the poorest city. Um, so in that aspect, it kind of sounds like The Hunger Games, but um, I think in everything else it would be different. Um, but yeah, so that's another one that I got from Amazon. And then the next one... Um, the next one that I'm going to show you guys is, this one actually rem sounded like um, Pivot Point. Um, I forget the author of Pivot Point. I haven't read it yet, but the synopsis of this next book reminded me of the synopsis of Pivot Point. And that one is... Dissonance by Erica O'Rourke. I can't say it right now. Um, but yeah, this one is um, basically where the main character, she, um, at any time she has to make a decision, um, there's always like, multiple um, outcomes that can happen to each decision she makes and she can sort of see what those outcomes are um, before she makes the decision. I believe that's how it is. She can um, see what the outcomes of her decisions are and yeah. So that's that's why it sort of reminded me of Pivot Point, is I know, I haven't read Pivot Point, but I know the synopsis of that is pretty similar, where the main character um, can see the, the results of her decisions before she makes them, so that way she can, like, choose what path she wants to go down. But this one, I think, is a little bit different because I think each time she chooses one decision, I think there's, like, an alternate world that that um, is created where if she would have made a different decision, that's how it would have turned out in the alternative world. Probably not explaining this very well. But um, I think that's sort of how um, how it is in this book. But it does sound really interesting. So, and the cover, again, I like this cover as well. It's really pretty. I love the colors. And um, so, yeah. Hopefully, I'll get to these pretty soon. And I can do reviews for you guys pretty soon. Hopefully. So, yeah. And then I have one more book that I'm going to show you guys. And this one, I actually 
got it for the um book uh book explosion read along for the book of or for the month of October, but I didn't actually get to this one in October, and I don't know when I'll get to this one. Um, but this is Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick, and <clears throat> Becca Fitz, Fitz, yeah, Fitzpatrick, I can't talk today, um, is also the author of the Hush Hush series, so this is her new novel, Black Ice, and I think this is a standalone, I'm pretty sure it's a standalone, um, and this one, um, pretty much the main character, I can't remember too much, but I think it was the main character, um, went up in, up to the mountains or something, and she goes to this cabin, I think looking for help, I can't remember. I think she was looking for help and she knocks on this cabin and um, there were a couple of guys inside who pretty much take her hostage and is holding her hostage and she's pretty much, um, they're pretty much forcing her to lead them out of the mountains or down the mountains, something like that. can't remember for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure when I'll get to this one, and honestly, I, I'm kind of apprehensive about this one right now, um, because I did see one of Ariel's videos recently where she said she did not like this book at all, so... I'm like, not sure if I'll like it, but hopefully I'll like it more than she did, but we'll see. I've never read a book by Becca Fitzpatrick, so this will be my first one. Um, and I'll probably read it in like around December, January-ish, because um, with the mountain and the snow... It kind of has like a wintry feel to it, so I want to read it during the winter. So, yeah, I'll probably read it December or January. Um, yeah, so those are all the books that I got from Amazon. And, oh, and I actually got um, The Retribution of Mara Dyer. I pre-ordered it, which is the first time I've ever pre-ordered a book. But I was excited to get this one, so I did. And I got it in the mail yesterday, and I'm so excited um, to get through the final book in the Mara Dyer trilogy. I'm about 150 pages in. Started reading it last night and then a little bit today. So I'm about 150 pages in, and hopefully... I'll finish it either tomorrow or by latest Friday morning. So I really, really, really need to know what happens. I have so many questions. And each chapter just brings up so many more questions. So, anyway. Um, but yeah, that is it for my book haul. So, I will see you guys soon with my wrap-up video. But until next time, let me know what you guys have read and what books you've got in October. So I will see you guys soon. Bye.